Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm here bringing you a re-review, and this was requested by Max James Palmer, so thank you, man. Uh, so this will actually be my third time reviewing this album. I reviewed this album way back when, back in 2014, and then I did a review for the album again for the anniversary edition that came out in 2016. So here we are in 2018, and I'm reviewing this thing again. Um, and the reason I decided to do a re-review was because my reviewing skills back in the day weren't that good, and I wasn't very detailistic about the albums. So today we'll be taking a look at Red, End of Silence, which is the band's debut album. And I don't know about you guys, but Red is one of my favorite hard rock bands of all time, and I'll probably go as far to say that they're one of my favorite bands of all time in general. Uh, they're just a band that just feels so close to me, like, they're a band that I've always had respect for, and I just, I love most of what they put out in terms of their music. So here we go into the re-review. The first track is the intro, End of Silence. Um, it's a pretty good introduction song, but um, I usually skip it most of the time. And then, of course, Breathe Into Me, which is like the band's number one hit song ever. Still a pretty good song. Um, I think it's a little bit overrated, but I can see why this song has the popularity that it has. It's very catchy, energetic, and the lyrics are very memorable, and it's just... Uh, a fan favorite. The next track is Let Go, which is definitely one of my favorite Red songs of all time. Uh, I think it has everything you want in a Red song. Uh, it has the melody, the heaviness. Um, I really like the middle sections of this song where uh, like it slows things down and then builds things back up again. That part just really gets me going every time. Already Over is the next song, which is another really good song. Um, this is actually the song that got me introduced to the band, and I loved it ever since. Um, it's not as heavy as the first few tracks on the album, but it's still pretty good, and I like it. Um, it's very melodic, and it's full of energy. I really like the vibe it gives off, too. The next track is Lost. The lyrics are pretty interesting. Uh, the musicianship is pretty good, of course. Um, I think uh, there's not much wrong with it, it just doesn't feel like there's much special with it. It's still a pretty good song. The next song is Pieces, which is the ballad off the album, you can say. Um, this is probably my favorite ballad that the band has done. Um, it's up there with ballads such as Hymn for the Missing and even Coming Apart from their latest album. Um, but yeah, this, this song really is good. It's pretty lengthy too, it has pianos, violins, and it's a very um, emotional track, you could say. So next up we got Break Me Down, which I think is a very underrated Red song. Um, I really like the riffs and everything about it. Next we got Wasting Time. Um, maybe my least favorite song on the album, but that's not saying much because I still do think it's pretty good. And the next song is gave it all away, which is probably my favorite song from the second half of the album. Uh, I really like the flow to this song, the instrumentation, the lyrics, and it's another one that has energy, but it also has variety to be a little more melodic, and everything about it's pretty good. And of course, uh, the last song on the album, you know, that's the last original song on the album, which is Hide. Um, this is also a pretty good song. Not one of my favorites, but I still do like it. And of course, you know, the next track is Already Over Part 2, which is kind of like an acoustic version of Already Over, even though an acoustic version of Already Over kind of already exists. I don't know, it's a little confusing, but yeah. But um, this is another pretty good song too. Not as good as the original, but uh, I still do like it. It's pretty moody. It's... Uh, also pretty emotional like pieces. Um, this is another ballad like song. I really like how the song ends because it just goes on like with these instruments and it just goes on for a bit and I that's like one of my favorite parts about this song honestly. So yeah and because this is a deluxe edition it comes with a, uh, a, a an acoustic version for Lost which I think is is alright. 
Um, not a song that I return to that much, but I think it's pretty good. So overall, guys, End of Silence by Red. Very, It's a very good album, I must say. Um, I'm going to have to give it a 9 out of 10. Um, it's a really good album. Is it one of the band's best? Um, I would say it's more in the middle. It's not one of their worst, but it's, no, it's not one of their best either, I would say. And because this is, this is the band's debut, and I think it's fantastic. Uh, if you're a Red fan and haven't heard this yet, I'm sorry, but you're not a Red fan. <laughs> Anywho, uh, definitely check this album out. Uh, if you're a fan of bands like Breaking Benjamin, uh, Three Days Grace, or even Linkin Park, definitely give this album a listen. Especially if you're a fan of Linkin Park, because uh, Red was influenced heavily by Linkin Park, and you can really hear that in this album. There you go, guys. Uh, what do you guys think of the album? I'd like to hear from you guys. So thank you for watching. Take care.